You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another fantastic episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. <laughs> Radio voice it is, and I'm Rob. And this is episode number 12, what in the world am I talking about? There's a reason for that that I won't bore you with. But anyways, it's actually episode number 840. Glad that you're with us. Keep in mind, we're still doing our contest. Have not seen any reason to stop. Whereby, if you have your question played on the air, then you go into a drawing every 50 episodes. We do that, and we put those 50 episodes, the question asker into a hat, or some mechanism. Pick somebody who gets a free annual membership to drone you so um, keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting a question you could win a free membership to drone you um yeah good day hope everyone's doing well thanks for being with us today got a, a little bit of a deeper show today we're excited let's just uh, let's get right into it uh again if you haven't signed up for the fly-in there is still some space i'm not sure how much space there is right now but guys please go we may not do it again next year if we do we might do a retreat style with maybe just like 30 people tops in some foreign country or tropical island. I don't know, but we're not going to do this again. So (laughs) we're really doing this to build relationships, give you guys value, and have a good time. And if you like those things, then check out DroneUFlyIn.com. It's going to be a blast. And by the way, if you're looking for a drone, check out DynexDrones.com. They've got some nice programs to help you get that drone that's going to get your business off and running. I think they've got some programs that are actually no money to get started. And then wow. you obviously pay for it monthly looking, looking. from there. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool what's happening in the industry, helping people get their business started. There's a lot of folks like you out there who really want to do this. Been thinking about it. You've been even making some plans, maybe have a, a business plan put together or at least started. And part of that business plan includes getting the equipment that you need. Well, DynexDrones.com is a good option for you to go check out and see if they might be a good place for you to get your equipment. And when you go there and you decide to buy stuff, Use the coupon code DRONEUSAVE, that's all caps, Drone U, just the letter U, obviously, SAVE, and the number 25, all together, and you're going to get 25 bucks off your order. Check them out, DynexDrones.com. Hi, guys. Tim Alex here, calling from Vancouver Island, Canada. Uh, I've been watching your course and learning a lot. I wanted to bring up one thing that I haven't heard you speak about yet in any of your podcasts, and that is uh, finding that the cost of the software, particularly PIX4D, to be prohibitively expensive, and the trial time rather short. You only get two weeks. And so I was running into this, like, how am I going to practice making maps when you only got two weeks to do it? For that reason, I decided to go with Maps Made Easy because they have the point program. And if you do some practice missions that are small enough, they don't deduct any points at all. So you can practice for free and put together a bunch of stitched maps. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about choosing the right mapping platform. Uh, I will also say that Maps Made Easy has a great app for flying the mission. As far as I can see, it's one of only two that allows you to come back for a battery refresh. Anyway, that's my question for today. Keep up the good work, guys. Have a good day. Thank you, Tim, for the question. A little envious of where you're uh, living. It's a beautiful place out there. But this is a big question, um, and particularly, Paul, for folks that are trying to get their business started, and it seems as though, and you know, I don't, you'll talk a little bit more about this, but Pix4D is kind of the go-to for more complex mapping, modeling. Well, but- uh, well hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to clarify something really quick. Um, there is another drone school out there that teaches a mapping course. It's a mapping course that is marketed similarly as our mapping course, but all they do, Rob, is teach you an app. Now... What is the old biblical thing? You can te- you can give a man a fish or you can teach a man to fish? Mm-hmm. Now, we can give a man an application or we can teach the man how to make the maps as the application does in a better form because we know the variables that it uses. So, 
Um, I think it's really important to understand beyond the application, okay? I just want to say that out there really quick. When it comes to mapping and modeling, actually, if you take our class, our intermediate mapping class, which, by the way, is now available full-time, 24-7 in Denver, Colorado. So um, the new Denver uh, Drone U will be opening soon, actually next month, and the Boulder one has already opened. So that's good news. In other news, though... When we're talking about mapping and you take these these classes from DroneU, we typically send out an email a week before and say, download Pix4D, use the free trial, and we want you to try this acquisition strategy, this, this, and this on these types of objects. Go. The reason for this is so that you become familiar with the applications before you come to the class so you have a better idea of what you're working with. Now, there's something really to differentiate in his question. He said, you know, PIX4D is a two-week, you know, trial period. That's mm-hmm. two weeks for PIX4D capture, which is the application to acquire images. And then it's a two-week uh, trial for the PIX4D desktop application, okay? okay? Those are two different things. One helps you get pictures. Mm-hmm. One turns pretty pictures into models, okay? Cool. Now, if I were you... I would do one of two things. I would actually, you could take our, you know, email this guy, I'll offer him the course for free. You can take our online intermediate mapping class and I'll let you take the whole thing. And I'll even let you write, you should write a list up. I'm not like going to let you, I'm going to ask you if you would write a list up of all the different mapping acquisitions that you should practice, like vertical, uh, orbital, uh, grid at a you know, fixed camera angle, Nader mission, And then learn why all of those process data differently, why orbits make beautiful, crispy, clean models, but have enormous, enormous errors on them, okay? They're not really accurate maps. Hmm. If you want accurate maps, you got to do a Nader mission. And if you want a beautiful map, you got to do an orbit mission. And then if you want to merge those together to have the best of both worlds, you've got to have great ground control points with great GPS, Now, that being said, that's a lot of information. Where do I start? Let's start with what do you want to map? What's the deliverable? Let's say you want to get good at mapping golf courses. All right, well, then you need to figure out which application is going to help you acquire the images, what images you need to acquire at what elevation to get what ground sampling distance to understand why that's important. Okay, now when you do that, you don't have to do the two-week trial of PIX4D. You can use MapPilot. MapPilot is the application from Maps Made Easy, the one he's talking about. You can use that all day long for free and acquire data up and down, left and right, wherever you want. You don't need PIX4D Capture to get the data. You don't even have to sign up for PIX4D Capture. You could actually use Ground Station Pro. There's a lot of different apps out there. Maps Made Easy through MapPilot is one of the best solutions for two reasons. He got one of them. The one reason he said was, well, I can switch batteries and keep going, going, going. That's fantastic. You're supposed to be able to do that in PIX4D now, but I haven't tried it myself, so I don't know if it's possible. But the other thing that's really, really important about Map Pilot is that it does terrain response. So if you're mapping things on big hills, you're going to get great detail no matter the altitude because it's measuring the altitude for you to get one big, beautiful map. Cool. So short answer is if you don't want to use your two-week trial of PIX4D, just use Maps Made Easy through Map Pilot to acquire all your data. Try to get different types of data so you understand you know, error rate, sigma squared rate. You understand point density per meter squared. You understand um, what are other key importances, GSD. Uh, and there's some other things. So you're using it to kind of learn the concepts yeah, before so moving up into PIX4D. Yeah, so you want to fly a Nader mission. You want to fly a crosshatch mission. You want to fly a crosshatch mission with an orbit. You want to fly a crosshatch mission with two orbits. You want to fly a crosshatch mission with three orbits where your camera doesn't ever have any sky in it and it's running a perfect circle around the building. I mean, and then we're going to you know, change those elevations 10, 15 feet and we're going to change the, the tilt of the camera with a formula that we use here at DroneU. Okay. If you were to do all those things, that might take you two weeks, okay? You don't need to sign up for the free trial of PIX4D to get the data. Now, you can take the next two weeks and use the PIX4D trial to process all of those data sets and learn how processing is different. Learn about point cloud cleanup. Learn about how to add in... um, uh, 
uh, MTPs, manual tie points. Learn how to, you know, use geometric uh, distortion. Use how to learn these different things so we can get different models from. Look, we all know, Rob, if we go into anything with a plan, that it's going to be more efficient and it's going to sure. be faster, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's recently hit me that no one plans. There are people who are planners, but they don't plan. What am I talking about? Here's what I'm talking about for planning. This is how I think about things. When I need to run errands from the house, I think about what is the shortest distance from one place to the other place? What is the distance from one place to my house? How can I get there the fastest? What's the parking spot that I'm looking for? What products do I need? What aisles are they in? And how can I get around the store the fastest? That's how I think. Because for me, time is money and my time is valuable. So is yours. Don't waste it. Don't let other people waste it. If you always plan 10 steps ahead of exactly what you're doing right now, you'll be fascinated how much stuff you can get done. That's probably one of the keys to my productivity in the last month. Very cool. Always Good advice. Always planning, planning, planning ahead. Yeah, absolutely. So. You're right. I think probably not enough people do that. More people kind of just fly by the seat of their pants, as well, they say. And some of those people who are like the ultimate organizers and planners, ask them what they're doing in five minutes. They will be like, oh, uh, you know, they're mm -hmm. not, not planning. Sure. Like, We're all guilty of that, but it's yeah. good to move more towards planning. That's true. No, and I just say that because you'll be fascinated by just how much it does for your life. Yeah, yeah. So in so, this particular case. Might drive case, your wife crazy. But. <laughs> case in point, maybe. <laughs> but particularly in, in this case for Tim, what you're saying is you can still get the most out of that two weeks by being ready to go with that trial when you get to the point of clicking the button. Right. Yeah. So one of my questions would be, as it relates to all of this, PIX4D is obviously more expensive than all of these other options. And there's a reason for that. Right. So at some well, point. Yes and no. Um, go ahead. I mean, if you buy Capture Reality or Bentley or Info, it's very expensive. It's not cheap. Okay. But here's the thing. If it's 400 bucks a month like, or 300 bucks a month with PIX4D and you do one mapping job, it's paid for Right. If you're, yeah, if so you're, that's the point. You have to take this in context. Mm -hmm. And there's really, I mean, I, I love the question. I, I kind of love, you know, he's asking about these uh, different apps and, and how can he be effective learning those and, and then how could that translate into PIX4D. The bottom line is at some point you got to bite the bullet, right? I mean, that's just part of building the business and figuring out if you're going to move forward with it. I just, I guess what I'm saying is there's not really an easy answer to the question of PIX4D costs 350 bucks or whatever it is. Um, you got to figure out how it's going to fit into your workflow and your business. And short of that, do what Paul said, capture using something else, plan for when you're going to click the button for your trial and then get in there and figure it out as best you can in that two weeks. Right. Agreed. Agreed. So cool. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for us today and these five podcasts that we've just filmed. So thanks for sitting in and listening with us. We really do appreciate it. No BS. And if you want to join us at the Fly-In, you should go to DroneUFlyIn.com. Otherwise, become a member, get access to the 32 classes, and get ready for Part 107. Just go to DroneU.Education and sign up today. That's going to do it for us today. Again, thank you for the support. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask DroneU. Ask DroneU.